I remember at the final Mass of the World Meeting of the Families in Dublin back in 2018, Pope Francis mentioned that the Holy Spirit constantly breathes new life into our world, into our hearts, homes and parishes. So what is the Holy Spirit saying to the Church in Ireland at this time? Last March the Irish bishops announced a synodal pathway for the Church in Ireland inviting everyone to journey together over the next five years to discern the answer to that question. What is the Holy Spirit saying to the church at this time? I'm very conscious that the church here has been facing a huge transformation in recent decades. The rapid secularization of society has led to a major decline in practice of the faith and in the number of vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life. We've also all been shocked and disturbed by the reality of institutional and clerical abuse. And the testimony of survivors reminds us of the need for a deep inner healing in our church, which is the body of Christ. 100 years on from the events of partition, independence and the civil war, we also recognise the need for ongoing peacemaking and building of trust and reconciliation here on the island. And for a culture of welcome for all the migrants and newcomers who have so much to bring to church and society here. There's a tremendous potential for a renewal of the domestic church within the family. And our young people have huge energy and gifts, but somehow we haven't been able to connect with them as church in a way which allows them to encounter Christ and become active participants in living and handing on the good news. We can hear a cry for transparency, for greater participation and accountability in the church, especially from our lay faithful, including many women. Sadly, there are also those who seem to have left church behind. And in some cases, they feel ignored, excluded or forgotten. We need to hear their voices too. So I invite you to join us on this synodal pathway for the church in Ireland. You're already aware, I'm sure, that the opening phase of our synodal pathway in Ireland very helpfully coincides with preparations for the 2023 Assembly of Bishops in Rome, which Pope Francis has called to consider the theme of synodality in the Universal Church. This initial phase here in Ireland will help us to plan together for what a national synodal assembly or assemblies for the Church in Ireland might look like. And also so that we can ensure it will be a real springboard for new life, fidelity, commitment and hope for us all. In 10 years time, we will be marking in Ireland the 16th centenary of the coming of St. Patrick to these shores. It's my hope that the synodal pathway will help to lay the foundations for our celebrations in 2032, so that we won't be simply honoring the past and what Christianity has brought to Ireland over the centuries, but we'll also be celebrating a shared vision of what the Catholic Church will look like here in Ireland and how it will thrive as a faithful, participative and missionary church for the future. Pope Francis said in Dublin in 2018 that each new generation brings the promise of a new Pentecost, a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So I invite you to join us on this synodal journey of discovery, discovering what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church in Ireland at this time.